It's record. Actually, I need to see what the fuck. Yeah, I don't know anything right now. Is, I'm uh, pretty uh not aware of what's going on. 162. Damn, that's a lot of episodes. You know, it's like 160. Or let's be honest. It's like 80 hours of shit we've just talked on this. I don't know. I couldn't name 20 things we've said. Oh. Should have got a beer. I'll get you a brewski. Oh! Thanks, James. I'm going to take this off first. Yeah. He's a fucking banana, bro. I'm nothing this year. First time. Ah, fuck. I don't... I can't remember. I don't... Oh, my God. I don't remember the last time I didn't dress up for Halloween. Like, or do, like, you know, the Halloween... Hall weekend party thing. Did you just have a stroke? Mm. (laughs) Um, yeah, well, I mean, you had your wisdom teeth pulled out. That's a pretty reasonable excuse. That's <clears throat> fucking true. timing on that. God. Well, it was either that or my birthday weekend. Oh, fuck that. Yeah. Shit. So, because the, the farther I waited towards November, I just thought there might be an, it's it's like an a issue. It's a little koozie. It's like, I thought it was like a little cock. <laughs> yeah, I like it. <laughs> like it was a black tip. Ah. Yeah. No, the, you, you, you had to hear the crunching and shit, though, right? You, I mean, some people like the crunch. I'm not, Who I'm the not fuck a, likes it, bro? It I was, don't know. Fucking weird people. I don't know if everyone out it there. It just stopped hurting like yesterday. Damn. Yeah. No, it was, it's uh, still, I, I still feel like it's a little tender still, but I'm saying like I can actually eat fine. I don't think about it. But like it hurt for over a week, like very much so. Like, yeah. Z and I both had our wisdom teeth pulled out without getting put under, which... It's savage, low-key. I mean, I felt like, you know, I was like, hey, I, 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 I did it. Well, most know? people don't want to do that or I, don't do it. I didn't have a choice, so it was just like... Well, I didn't want to wait anymore because I, I, I got tired of calling ortho places. I'm fucking calling, and it's like, hey, I'm recommending, I'm referring you to this, uh, this guy and this guy and this guy. Yeah. All one, every single one of them, I can't even get them on the phone. Yeah. I'm like, okay, I'm done. I'm done. Just fucking rip them uh, out of my head. Dude, remember our orthodontist back in Medford, Dr. Ravasapur? Ravasapur! Dude. Oh, my dog. Dude, all the hygienists? Yeah, they were... Yeah, he knew what he was doing. Mm -mm. But he also was like... There was all all this little shit that just had, like, his face on it. Do you remember that? Yeah. Yeah, There was so much of him just everywhere. He's like, this is me. And I'm just like... A little much. Yeah, and he was like... I remember, like, you know, you take a, a, a picture in front of the Smile Factory or whatever. Yeah, <laughs> and then the before like, and afters of races and stuff, too. Yeah, so, like, we take our picture at the Smile Factory, and then he's like, oh, like, what are you doing? I'm like, oh, I'm going to Disneyland in, like, you know, a couple months or something. And he's like, oh, take this picture of my head. And so it was his face on a little stick, and he's like, it's like a flat Stanley thing. And it's yeah. like, show where Dr. Ravasapur is traveling. And it's so like, centered much, huh? Yeah, and it's like, just because you can't no, travel like, your dude, mind, you got to take I, you with he, I do recall that. <laughs> and then uh, he was cool, though. His hygienists were cooler. But, yeah. dude, that Remember one girl, the, the black girl with the black, black hair with the glasses, the square glass. Yeah, and she, you know. She was. Remember she'd, like, bend over to, like, you know, she'd be, like, going this way. Like, her tits in your face? I mean, they're like on your shoulder. <laughs> yeah, I remember. I'm like, like, no, dude, I was I'm like, like 12. No, I'm like, this is oh, yeah, crazy. I was like, I was like 14. And then I was like, oh my God, she wants me, dude. I'm like, I'm not going to wear these fucking bands dude, in here. Funniest, so I got to keep the, coming back. The funniest part is because they do take the digital pictures like before and after. Both times, it's like I'm going there before school. <clears throat> oh, I'm tired of this. And th- every picture, I'm just like, <laughs> yeah, I'm just like, <laughs> it's so funny, dude. All the before the and after, the exact spitting image of each other. I had mine for over four years. So, four, like, really? Yeah. So, my before and after, I'm like, 
11 and then I'm fucking 15. Oh, I had mine for two. So for like a year and a half. So it was like, here's this little child and here's this like prepubescent teenager. And I just went like, YMCMB flat bill hat? Yeah, <laughs> dude. Probably fucking on, man. Here, here's the thing. Yes, I did wear a YMCMB fucking flat bill. And diamond supply. You know what I'm saying? Shit. And uh, I had a chain on. The thing is, is like, Outside the shirt too. Shit, he was an, he was an outside the chain, outside the you, shirt kind. You of know chain what guy. the thing is? I got so much shit for it, and I still wore it, dude. Every I committed, I did. No, you weren't there my senior year. They, oh, dude, you I should be praised. No, they they called me one chain. They're like one chain, <laughs> dude. And the thing is, is that Jacob Moore sounds like a Jacob Moore. No, thing. he wasn't there senior year. But uh, no, the thing is, is like you want to talk about who fucking represents Wheezy, fucking just out there man like i fucking told the you were boots on the ground that was boot wearing supras and the only <laughs> people who are wearing those red ymcmb hats were the fans who ordered them specially yeah exactly and i was like you know what and you're like that's me <laughs> wheezy f baby man and i'm repping the snapback and you know what do i regret it yeah i look like a douche but you know what at the time it was like this is me Birdman, young thugger, <laughs> Birdman stunner, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Wheezy yeah. F baby, little twist. That was my shit, man. Fucking oh my God, young money, bro. cash money, billionaire. So you, you also did okay. You also did the, your your peace signs. Like sometimes the thumb would be out. Me? Yeah. And what? Like in mirror pictures or something. I actually I have no recollection of that. But I think there's one picture I saw. You, you uh, I'm like, oh. That's an interesting piece of it. Shit, it's more well, because it could be a fucking gun. <laughs> <laughs> I'm throwing up the set, man. <laughs> Gotta keep that fucking hammer back, man. Oh, yeah, you did. Uh, I, 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 oh, I'm my God, that. dude. Wanna introduce this shit? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck are we doing? I don't know. Uh, dude, if you look, okay, look at this. Okay. <laughs> when we, like, during COVID, you know, when we, like, started this or whatever, and you're like, like, dude, like, I wonder where we're gonna be in two years, three years. <laughs> This is the you'd be like, what the fuck? Yeah, are we what, doing? Are, what are we doing? No, we I love doing? it. It's just like I'm glad to be back. I'm actually having a good time right now. No, me too. Me too. I think that <laughs> we were so like schedule oriented of like we got to do this every week that at some point it's like, uh, but like you take a little break. And it's like, all right, I want to, I want to sit here. No, I want to do this. Yeah, like it it's was an honor to be in this chair. Yeah, yeah. Like Mr. Rogers, he's putting on his uniform before walking out of the tunnel. He was dialed. Yeah, exactly. I feel, I feel bad. Mr. Like, Rogers had fucking just. That's why he had wore long sleeves all the time. He's just fucking tatted, just tatted up, just tatted dude. up. Welcome back, stop. Just around the last episode one sixty two. Um, episode one sixty two. Uh, starting with our sponsors, which uh, none of them have dropped us. I know <laughs> all one hundred and sixty episodes. <laughs> Join the Aperture Oceans. Bring ideas and ads. To life. And shout out uh, Liv Stallion and the winner of the Wellness Fitness Page Start of ATLD's <laughs> own Brandon Badiato. Huge bone to pick with Brandon Badiato, our fantasy football commissioner. I will get into it after we do this. I think he always... Like, was he elected or was he like just a walk-on? Wait, for the commissioner? Yeah. He was a little bit of a walk-on. Yeah, I don't I don't think a vote was cast. He was a little bit of a walk-on. Well, there was, there was already a scandal last year. Already a big scandal last year. Tristan Dalton had to do their investigation and they gave executive powers back after it was all said and done. But there was an investigation. No, a huge executive. There should know, be no a, powers. A, 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 he works know, for the people. A huge scandal is underway. What Fantasy football scandal? Monday. Oh no. Sunday night. It ends. Both of our squads only had guys playing on Sunday. There's, there's always a game on Monday, but <clears> none of our guys played game concluded. Play has stopped. I win 134 to 132. I wake up, go to work, end of the, over tw like 24 hours later, over 24 hours later, the score now says he won by point. There was an adjustment. He won by 0 0.50 points or 5-2 or something like that. How he won by half work? a point. And everyone, everyone in fantasy football. Does he have the power to everyone, change that? Yes, he does. Everyone in fantasy football, everyone in fantasy football has had an adjustment happen. Anyway, if you were a veteran and playing fantasy football, I've played thousands of fantasy football matches myself. <laughs> adjustments happen, whether a penalty happens or maybe after the game, something is changed, like right after it ends. It's always in that time frame, though. Not over 24 hours later, something smells fishy, and you know, I'm, not, I'm, I'm not going quietly. thing is, he shouldn't have executive power. The power is inherent in the people of the league, and then he is just supports a... I know. It's... So does anyone have like their eyes on him and what he does, or does he just do whatever... Yeah, that's how he was caught the first time. So he was caught. He was caught in a scandal already. So was he tried? Changing, changing multiple times... Changing. How is he still commissioner? Chain, dude. He, ch I think he's co with someone now. Like the same, like who's the other person? I don't know. I think it's you Trish don't know. I think it's Tristan Dalton or something. Hmm. But 
I'm saying co-manager. The, the scoring of how points are given was changed in the middle of the game, week week one of like last year or something like that, or week two, or something like that. Dude, but like get the him points, out. yeah, it was just it's ba- it's something. Ballots are due November. Sus is going man. on, so I actually I, I've actually turned in my resignation in one of my leagues already. So yeah, dude. I mean, the thing is, one one you cannot be a walk on. You 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 have to, or else no one's gonna. Re- no one's gonna respect it. You have to move up. You can't. You, no, you can't walk in on a. No. no, you you have to. We've been be doing this for fucking in. twelve years. Yeah. So I think all the people involved should have a vote on who they fucking want, and mm-hmm. the most votes wins. Anyways, but well, whatever. Yeah. Anyways, we've been gone for a little bit. Z got a little life update. Z got his wisdom teeth out, crunchy, crunchy. It's not a life update. That's Z just got like- his fucking CDL permit. We. Yay. Mm-hmm. Are you nervous at all for driving like a, a big rig on the road? No. You don't get nerves. Do Maybe you? like the MCIs or something. Those those can those take a little. little Maybe bit. those, but other no, not really. Thing is, like I remember, like first when I first started driving, like the school buses and shit. I'm like ten and two, you know, checking my vectors, and now it's like fucking, now you're on your phone. Yeah, hit the vape and fucking phone. like. <laughs> well, because you just get you, you know, you get used to it, and then I'm just like I'm like, <laughs> and I'm like, fuck, I'm, I'm like saying, texting. What <laughs> One of these days, and it's you. You're 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 a very naturally lucky person. One of these, you're gonna get, but it's gonna come, and it's gonna be real, real bad, bad. Unlucky one. It's gonna be a really yeah. bad one. Well, it's just like in your car. Like, okay, yeah. At first, yeah, I know. Yeah, I, I almost mean, got hit at the butcher shop because I was on my fucking phone. Yeah. So in your car, you're comfortable with it, but it takes like a couple years. And so, like in the buses, you're like, I will never be on my phone. And then you slowly are just like, and then you're just. It's just it feels like natural. You're just like. But that's <laughs> fucking the big ass. You're all you, you're always on your phone though. But you, so are you, dude. No, I'm we not. Both are. No, 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 you no. just said the other day no, in the car I how guess much you love. I meant being like, on your dude. Phone. I'm saying this. Okay, I'm saying this. It's actually pretty shocking. I have watched you like just like <laughs> multiple times. I'm like, I wonder how long he's going to be on that thing. And he's in all the way. Like we're going to like Seattle or Tacoma. Or, the entire way. You're like. You know what's weird? D- didn't didn't stop one time. I'm like, dude, that's so many miles that you're barely looking. Have you ever just like stopped and been like, fuck? Yeah, no, yeah. <laughs> was I driving? <laughs> or like, dude, you like like, dude, when I looked up last, I was ten miles back. Yeah, yeah. And then like, just seeing, I'm like, like, did I kill someone in the middle of that? Can I have hit somebody and not known it? And I don't even remember like stopping at the red lights. Like, did I stop? I'm like, no, oh, yeah. I must have. <laughs> like, and the crazy thing is. When you're driving, when you're not supposed to, like when you've had a little loud middle soup, yeah. you're a little fucked up. You're like, I probably shouldn't drive right now. That I'm, I'm, I remember what I'm doing there. Yeah, exactly. But I don't remember. But during that, it's like I remember like going past like the mucks or whatever. There's like those four lights. Yeah. And then, and then I'm like, oh fuck! I'm like, did I? You don't even recall the lights. No, I'm like, and I'm not kidding. I. But what's I weird, weird is your foot slowly stops. And then oh, ready to drive? Yeah, and you just saying, fucking do it. That, yeah, it's, crazy. it's just unconscious. <laughs> but there's got to be some in there that I ran. 100%. I think we should bring drinking and driving back. Just weed out the fucking the the fucking people who aren't smart enough to do it. Yeah, I think <clears throat> bring it back. I mean, who are you to tell me I can't drink and drive? Like, <laughs> I'm serious. Fucking let let me do it. Put that law into effect, and you know what? We're gonna you know what? if you can't swerve out of the way, then they nature took its course. <laughs> the fact that you're the banana customer. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm fucking serious. It was like that that Tim Dillon guy said, statistically speaking. You do something enough, you get good at it. Yeah, you'll get good at it. And I'm not saying I'm great because I don't do it. But but what, what I will say <laughs> is that fucking let him do it. Let him fucking do it. Let's see what happens. I mean, yes, once in a while, there's going to be a baby on board. And we're, uh, that's sad. But, Dude, you know what's crazy? Okay, what type of a So like, what, what, what is the... Okay. You know how you have like a baby or something or a little toddler in like a booster seat and they face them the other way? Yeah. In what what does that do? Because my first thing is, okay, either way, if you get in a fucking car wreck that's worse than a little bump, things probably fucking dead. You know how the airbags come this way? Yes. Cause you oh, so it bashes the back of their head. Yeah, but then they can't like flip out of it, which would be like I'm saying what <clears throat> yeah you know I wish we could have on this show is like a DUI like one, like a like a lawyer from 1-800 DUI away oh my dude, god dude sitting here be like dude tell us the tips and tricks what, what are we supposed to say dude, yeah well, nothing. Like, well yeah of course but you know nothing if you're fucked up you're gonna say something if I'm fucked up I usually just <clears throat> yeah <laughs> but then, but then, then, then that's more suspicious though if, if, if they're like <laughs> <laughs> if they're like less like, suspicious you're just like <laughs> <laughs> just give him the slow head nod and just hand it to him. He's like, 
fuck. Oh, fuck. Like, have you been drinking? How much have you, how much have you drink tonight? I'm good, you. <laughs> <laughs> no, I mean, I, I I know there's like tips and tricks and shit. And, and that's, I, I really got to research. The thing is, you always research them after the fact. Okay. You don't have to research anything. I'm just saying there, there's just like a couple things that you should do and things you shouldn't do. That's it. There's no tricks to be fucked up. That, that's like a personal thing. You know how fucked up you are and you know what you can no, do. No, I'm you know saying how you... like well, what I'm saying is one of the big ones and then they never get you on is when they ask you to do the tests and shit, you know? Yeah. They have to legally ask you if you have any disability that would allow you to not be able to do and that. you're going to say you have a disability? That's no, your trick? No. Most of them forget to ask that it's like the Miranda rights or whatever oh, if they don't ask that nothing fucking matters you you, you can get a fucking $200 attorney and you're fine did they say that and you'd be like no well I have a mental health disability and fucking he didn't ask and so then it doesn't matter but if you don't have a mental health disability how can it be proven otherwise I mean you can't really prove that a mental health disability I mean that could be on you or whatever I mean you you can get a cocaine prescription for cluster headaches literally and that's like impossible to prove. You might have to talk to my doctor. Yeah. Do, can, okay. Here. Do they sub? Okay. I, I know it's a thing. Okay. Obviously, it's a rare thing, though. Yeah. Yeah. You, uh, you must have to jump through a lot of hoops to get subscribed cocaine. Here's the but thing: it is, is, it is a thing. But my question is this: my question is this: Do they prescribe by the gram, by the half gram, by by? Do they give eight balls? I don't know what it is, but I do know that on the bottle it says to be in what is it called? In insufflation? Is that what it's called? Inhalation. In suff- and when it goes in the nose. In suff- what were you about to say? Insufflation is when it goes, is when you, it's the legal term for, or the medical term for snorting through your nose. Oh, I don't, I don't. It's called like insufflation or something like that. I'm serious. Okay. It actually says that. Like, you can get a fucking prescription for cocaine. But the thing is, it's like, is that just carried at your local pharmacy? No, that's got, it's got to be a special, a special case. Yeah, but then, like, they order it for you. It's like, oh, here's the script from my doctor. Fucking give me an eight ball. Yeah, but I'm just saying. Imagine getting to pay for Coke with insurance. It's like, I yeah, know. yeah, Regents, 10 bucks. Fucking give me my eight Is ball. Is that monthly? I mean, depends how bad the cluster is. And how big? Are. How, 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 what is the dosage? Imagine if they gave, like, two, two plus grams, dude. Kim, let's be honest. We're not going to go by the dosage on the bottle. I mean, we're just going to. I know. Dude, imagine if it was a little bag. <laughs> Oh, that'd be so sick. they give you like a little spoon with it too, dude. Like a little that'd baby be fu- spoon, like the dark web does, dude. Like so those fucking. Um, do you remember when um, McDonald's used to have the little cool coffee, uh, tiny spoons? Yeah, and they had to get rid of them because everyone would just go and grab them for coke. Yeah, and that's right. Cokes. Didn't they pay like a million dollars for that square ass fucking spoon? Yeah, yeah, to get that designed. Like what? I mean, the thing is, it's not a bad design, but it's like, why is it? Why is it a rectangular prism? Well, it actually connects to the part that spins and the spoon is connection that spins the on the no machine. shit is that why it yeah. is i didn't know that yeah oh so, so it, it's actually genius because they use the spoon is used to stir you it. know they how much the money they're saving in like dawn soap a year from not having to rewash the fucking thing it's like oh yeah let's just stick it in there fucking spin it and, or yeah it's, it's two bir- and you get the dirty utensil well it's two birds one stone there's no blade to wash or clean that's you, what, sti- that, yeah. that, that, you that's stick what it in the thing it spins it for you and then they give it to the customer perfect wow it's got to be a hefty spoon, though. Oh, yeah. Yeah, that's why it's nice and thick. Oh, yeah. 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 Very, very balanced, too. Very yeah. balanced. Yeah, like all things should be. A good shape. And also, if you look at it, if you look at the, the McFlurry spoon from, from the front, you can see the thickness changes as yeah, it goes. It's like got an- a fortissimo <laughs> and a de fortissimo. <laughs> you know like a, and like an obelisk. Basically, mm. and it gets a little thicker toward the top because that's where that part snaps in, and that's when that ice cream's thick and it's and it's really getting going and getting busy. You want to make sure it maintains that thickness there, mm. and so when it gets thinner to the bottom, and it really creates just, per- it's perfect. It's perfect. That's what the million dollars is for. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah, no, you, absolutely. You can't buy that. Um, you, you can't buy a genius. I, I do have a question. So, like, uh, like one thing to do coke off of or through or something, like. You got a fucking baggie and you get to choose one thing. Like, are you snorting through something, off something? Like, what's your fucking, what's your fucking tabletop of choice? Dude, you know what I've, okay. Tits. These, these are like, they're, they're these glasses that you can buy. Um, it's like a funny, it's like a gag gift thing. It like, and it's, okay. It's a very, very long straw. That's glasses. And I actually want to get this for my chocolate milk. And you put it on 
and you put the straw in the cup, drink it, and the drink goes up and around your eyes like this. And well, then goes so the straw. I want to store a line of coke through that. Damn, dude, you're gonna need some serious. I know, but <laughs> <laughs> talk goes, about a deep breath, man. <laughs> that'd be sick. There's gonna be a lot but left no, over it. But uh, yeah, that'd be that'd be tough. Can can you put that in like a liquid? Like can can you, can you eat cocaine? I mean, can you? Yeah. I mean, obviously, I you wouldn't can. recommend. Would, would it. it do anything? Because because you know how you you can snort Molly and just like eat it. So I've heard. And you can just <laughs> fucking, and it fucks you up either way. Like cocaine, yeah, yeah. can no, I just like. I mean, it, it goes, it, it's still, it gets it's digested. not the same though. It's not the same. It's not the same. Which is, okay. So uh, you haven't done crack, right? I mean, I haven't. <laughs> no, I have not smoked crack. Okay. But the thing is, all it is, is a crystal version of cocaine. But why is it so much different? I, I don't know not much about the field. Well, like. I mean, I'm not saying you know about either of them, but like say that we both did know about one half of the field. Right? <laughs> <laughs> the, um, no, I'm just saying, I'm just oh saying like God. the, the fucking crack part. It's like, if they're doing crack, it's crazy. Like you're like seeing shit. Okay. Like, they're, like there's visuals and shit, right? It's different when you smoke something and then you snort it. So if we go smoke so the crack, it's, it's, it's the fumes of the crack, crack, it, cocaine, coke that you snort. Crack is the same thing. It's just smokable cocaine. Yeah, I'm saying, but why is it so much different? Because you're 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 taking it a different way. But it still gets in the in the bloodstream. Yeah, but at I'm the just end saying, of the day, it, goes in the it affects you differently. Smoke and inhalation of smoke going through your body is Dude, different. We should than do crack powder. on the podcast. <laughs> <laughs> just see what the fuck happens. Do like that in Wolf Wall Street when they're in the back. <laughs> yeah, let's do. I would know. Crack scares me, dude. No, but like we're not degenerates. Like we know we're not gonna get addicted to it. Like we do crack once, you know, on the podcast. Ha ha ha. I'm not smoking. Are you serious? <laughs> you want to try crack? Sure. <laughs> <laughs> I've tried everything else. If my life gets any worse, I just might. Yeah. I, <laughs> your life isn't bad. No, it's not bad. But like, is, I would, it, is it bad? I would give it like Are a. You okay? C- yeah, I would. Just, I would just give it like a C minus. You don't. You, you. You don't talk about these things a lot. So. You say that, but we talk a lot. It's just that, know, like most of the time when you choose to talk, it's at the worst possible times. Oh, okay. It's when we wake up. It's when I just got off work. And it was oh, a well, terrible that's day. That's when we had to carpool together, and that's when we were and were in a, an inclined or an enclosed. We've talked quite a bit recently, but with, with, with the the breakup and stuff. Mm-hmm. Yeah, of, yeah. Course, of course, I, I'm working on it. Yeah, yeah. No, yeah. I, just, I just worry about you, and I care about you. Thanks. Yeah. Thanks. Yeah. I mean, I'm a fucking big podcast co-host, and it's just big. Fucking, yeah, just a lot of things going on. Don't, there. We can't do this with you in a fucking banana <laughs> costume, dude. Well, could you imagine you're, it? You're like, no, listen, okay. Look, my POV, you have a fucking banana costume. You're like, are you okay? <laughs> oh, we, 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 will we talk? I'm like, dude. Could you actually imagine it any other way? No. Like, yeah, that's just how it is. Nah, man. Nah, nah man. Nah, that's great. Nah. Nah. But yeah, anyways, so yeah, a lot going on in this world. Happy Halloween, by the way. Um, what's uh? What do you think your best costume in history was? Mm, my best costume, not the angel, that's for sure. And no, um, no, that was fucking stupid. I'm, you know what? Okay, this is the sad part, and I, I think a lot of people like this. <laughs> a lot of them, besides the last couple years, I don't fucking <laughs> even know them all. I was so fucked yeah, up. I don't know. I did look pretty damn good in that fucking. Oh, the Maverick. Thing? Yeah, that was a good costume. Do you think that was your best one? I'm trying to think. I, know I nailed the stash. I know I've dressed so. I know I've dressed so many different ways and stuff. I just I'm having a hard time fucking. We Willy Wonka sucked. Or no, actually it was a good costume. I just didn't like it because I had to go clean shaven. Remember I was Willy Wonka. I had the hat, the fucking everything, the glasses. Yeah, you did. Yeah. Uh, to be honest, I mean the Italia ones were good. As Those far, were fucking. As good. far as like other people saying something, the Italia ones and the Stanley Cup got the most I've ever got. Yeah, the because they were like the that's Paul, funny. The that's... Paulie and Vinny one from uh, yeah. last year. <laughs> the nuns were good. Nuns were good. Absolutely. We were remembered, by the way. Really, as the nuns. I met the guy again that hosts the Halloween party, even though oh. I saw him last year. And he was like, "Oh, hey, like, do I know you?" I'm like, "Oh yeah, we've been to your last two ones." He's like. Oh, you and your boy were the nuns. And I'm like, yeah, all right. I don't remember we're, that night, so we must have caused a ruckus. We, we were memorable. We must have caused a ruckus. Yeah, that, that, that's all we do. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, that's... See, you know what's weird? This is weird. Hmm. I, I never really get FOMO, but like a week plus after, that's when I'll get it. Really? Isn't that weird? Mine's the opposite. It's during if I'm no. not there, and then I'll forget it's about never, it. It's never like it's never during. It's like days will pass, and I'm like, 
fuck, and then I'll get it. It's like a, it's a, it's like a tremor of of FOMO. Interesting. Isn't that weird? Thank you for admitting that. Isn't that weird? You've, you've, you've said you never had FOMO. No, I because I don't. <clears throat> but after, after, but like after, I'm like fuck. I kind of wish I went. Mine is always during, as if it's like I was doing something. I was like, fuck, I wish I was doing that right now. But like the next day, I'm not thinking about it. Wait, you get FOMO when you're doing the thing you got FOMO about? No, if I'm doing something else while the thing I have FOMO uh, about is happening, like, fuck, I wish I like was doing that. Like in your right mind, now. you'll take the time. Oh, they just got there right Yeah, now. exactly. That's oh, what I'm like, fuck, yeah. I wish I was doing that. Blah, blah, blah. Shit, I got to do this though, whatever. But then I go to bed or whatever. Then it's like, oh, well, that already happened. No, so. yeah. I don't, it's so weird. But like, it doesn't happen all the time. Did you have it for Halloween? Yeah, a little bit. Yeah, it was actually a fun one. Which no, I was I'm saying about. no, yeah. no, not Halloween night. I didn't give a shit because my mouth hurt. I don't care, and Halloween I night I did want it. the whole weekend. I'm saying the oh, party. okay. Yeah. But I'm saying, um, but even if it's something that I kind of wanted to go to, it's never it's never the night of. I don't even think twice about it. It's like days will pass, and I'm like, fuck. Yeah, or it's like when you see pictures and shit or something. Like, no, that doesn't really do anything for me. It's well, like, then what brings it back up in that little noggin of yours? I. Stuff rattles just, around and just, eventually, it like it's like a giant Ferris wheel. Eventually, the thought will come back around. I'm like, fuck. If you could describe like a, a like a picture or like a song that I would hear if I climbed into your brain, what do you think it'd be? A song? You want to? Oh, f- no, because the thing is, is I showed Rachel the. Uh, there's this track. Do you remember the fucking Wii theme? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. So someone we did that to September. Yeah, I've heard it. Yeah, yeah. So I played that for her, and she's like, "I imagine if I crawled into your brain, this is what's playing all the time." It'd probably be, uh, it'd probably be, um, "Eye to Eye" by Tevin Campbell from the Goofy movie. That's probably would play. Really? Yeah. So that's the vibe of your brain. Yeah, absolutely. <clears throat> huh. It's a great song. It's no, one of my it favorites. No, I'm saying like like the the vibe. What do you of, think it would just be? Some fucking y'all kill myself. Uh. No, no, oh. <laughs> not at all. I thought it'd be some like like some broad wave or something. Or, That's oh, like like it, it's not a song that you're choosing. I'm saying like the vibe of like I crawl into your brain and I I get your thoughts. Like what, oh, what it'd definitely be broad wave, slow. Yeah, exactly. Just That's what nonchalant, chill. Yeah, like. Paint that picture for me. Like, is it a fucking, like, abstract of the beach? Or is it, like, you know, a city skyline? And you looking out the window. I think it'd be a combination. Glass. It'd be a combination of those things. City skyline over the beach. A nice little martini glass, a little olive in now, there. Now, 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 this is where you can get creative. Yeah, you do yeah. eat the olive first. Do you, yeah. play, do you play with the sword afterwards when no one's looking? I don't know. Yeah. Yeah. Absolutely. These are things we all got to ask exactly, it's, it's It's the simple <laughs> things. I'm a I, man of simplicity. I think... The thing is, back to Coke, there's nothing like that fucking <laughs> feeling, so I've heard, of like, you know, you're... Actually, I've never so done this. I've heard. No, actually, this part I've never done, but I just feel like it'd be amazing. I'm saying, like, you're on, like, a balcony of, like, a skyscraper, and the wind's hitting you, and it's, like, 5 a.m., dude, and you're just, like, just geeked, and the wind's hitting <laughs> you, and your fucking hair's all flopping. You don't give a shit. You're just, like, leaning over. Just taking it all in while whatever the fuck's you've never, going you've on. never been fucked up looking at a good view. No, I meant like I'm describing I have, a very. I, I have. I've I know. Been, I'm describing a very specific scenario. Oh, like, I was gonna say there's been times I've looked at the sun no, and I was no, just, I was course. absolutely twisted. No, of course. I'm saying just like whatever's going on behind you. You know, the cameraman's gone or whatever the fuck. You kind of like are in your own documentary for a second. Yeah. About and, you. And, and it's just like, yeah, this is this is a cool moment before I got to go back in there and see what's going yeah. on. But yeah. Uh, would you ever do porn? No. Never? Have you ever like, re- like re- re- you know, recorded, you know, you and your girl? No, I don't think so. You never have? I don't think so. I'm trying to remember. I don't. Huh. No. Nah. <laughs> Not my last one. Um... <laughs> Definitely not my last one. Um, but like, okay, like say... I can't, I, I don't think so. Say no. say it's for like a... Like, do you ever send shit through iMessage? Like if a girl is like, oh my God, jack off for me or something. No, I think Snapchat's the move. Snapchat's the move. Yeah. But like, would you ever like someone enough that you're like, I'll trust you with the iMessage? You know, like... Yeah, I have. Yeah, oh, you have? Not me fucking... Coming on cam, <laughs> but I wouldn't yeah, do that. You know, like, I wouldn't do that. What's your fucking pose? Dude? Like, do you just like put it up and like? <laughs> See, point that's down? okay. That's the weird thing with dicks. You have, yeah, because if it's up like this and you point the camera, this it just looks like it's looking at you. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> it's 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 all it's it, a lot of its angles. A lot oh, of its big angles. angles. A lot of its angles. Yeah, a lot of a angles. lot. It's a lot of trial and error, but I think I've perfected. <laughs> 
do you, do you, how I do send. You, put it, you keep it in your hand, right? What? Like, if I'm going to send a dick pic, I don't just, like, have my dick out and take a picture. Like, like I hold it with my hand. No, that's that, that's that's rookie. With my hand? You, you take, like, okay, if your dick had arms, you take your dick pics like it was taking a selfie? Like, no. that close? I'm saying I'm holding it with my hand. Oh, no! With my dick? Uh, no! So you just have your dick out and you just take a no, picture? No! Neither! What do you do? No! You gotta do some mirror here. You gotta use the mirror. Oh, yeah. I'll use that, too. I never would give, like... I'm not giving fucking selfie shots of my cock. No, I'm saying... What I was trying to say was I'll hold it with my hand. Even if it's in the mirror or whatever, I'm saying, like... You know, because then it's not just like this. Oh, here's a penis. If I'm sending multiple, then yeah, like yeah. one of them maybe it'll be in there. But you, ha- you have to throw in. There has to be layers. And when I yeah. say layers, there has to be layer. If you're a dude, okay, girls, it's like you 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 just have so many weapons in your repertoire. Oh yeah, it's like oh here's that you can always you can, it's always going to look hot to a guy yes, regardless. Exactly. I mean, unless you do something fucking crazy. But I'm saying, <laughs> like guys, it's like it's very easy to give a nick. It's very easy to look. And because also guys like girls' bodies are just a lot more like beautiful. And there's no, there's more things about them that people like. Oh wow, that's nice. Oh wow, that's good. And guys, it's like wow. Here's my guys. Guys are it's very limited, very limited. And so you have to work with your weapons. That's the only thing that sucks is like you know they send like you know a couple and it's like I gotta like send one. The only shitty thing is girl that girl like girls can do like cleavage picks exactly they and they'll do, start there and the, but but a guy like if he wants to do an equivalent let's say like a shirtless pick it's like just, now you just look like a douche yeah or no, like the thing is is it's always the like are we gonna do it kind of thing because like the girl will send like just like oh my god like here's my cleavage but not saying anything but then the guy will just like take off his shirt and just show like the top the off. shoulder yeah so knowing that the shirt is off so that's like an invitation of like hey if you want to see hey more, whip your foop out yeah if you want to see more fucking you know but now that we're older a butthole pick now that we're older i don't know i feel like now that we're older it's different i don't know i feel like there's i mean a lot I, of I think it's different now it's, it, there's still subtleties of course of course i'm saying i think now i'm i'm and i was obviously i haven't been single in a long time but i'm saying i I think it's just different now. Oh, the the, the game keeps on changing. The game is ever it changing. Evolves. Yeah, once one, once you retire for a little bit. And That's why like men who are like been married for like thirty years be like, oh, you know, I'd bang. Blah, blah, blah. It's like no, no, you couldn't. You've been out of the game too long, man. Yeah, no, you can't. It's very you hard. You can't fucking do that. I think out of your once you're out of your twenties, man. Like it's just yeah, I mean, the games. I mean, I was in a relationship for a long time. Still, it's, still had game, but I was in my twenties. It's it's been shitty, but <laughs> game helps. Game, game, game helps. Game helps. Hey, listen, because. that I, I, I will fucking stand by this, dude. Get me to dinner. I'm fucking lights out, dude. Oh yeah, don't get me to fucking dinner. That's I'm lights it. out. I every time, and I'm not <laughs> okay. I'm not even like tooting my own horn. I'm not saying like I'm just so great they just can't resist me. That's not what I'm saying. I'm just saying there's been times where it was really hit or miss before I met somebody, mm-hmm. and then I fucking go and get a drink. Fucking lights out. It's in person. It's, I'm, That's I'm an in-person guy. The fucking, uh, like, I was trying, like, the Tinder Because over shit. text, like, <laughs> over text, I try to do, like, what I do joking-wise stuff. And it doesn't you, work you the same. You don't know. That's the, what I'm, the I've delivery, been saying this forever. The delivery doesn't work the same. The delivery doesn't work the same. Because, like, I'll, be, I'll make a sarcastic remark or something to a text. And, like, like oh, okay. I'm like, okay, that wasn't fucking yeah, exactly, funny. Yeah, exactly. Because the delivery's not there. Exactly. No. I tried the fucking, like, Tinder shit or whatever the fuck. I can't I do that anymore. No, 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 but it was just like, this sucks. But it's like, get me in fucking person. And guess what? Uh, do you ever have that feeling, like, kind of like in, like, the little fuzzies in your upper chest when you're just killing it? Yeah. I, mean, I don't know about fuzzies, but I'm, I, I, I know when i No, I'm, no, it's just a feeling. I get the like, same feeling, like, when I'm feeling my shot and caught. It's the same feeling for me. Yeah, and it's just I'm like, like... I'm hitting right now. It's like, I'm my just, jokes are fucking landing, yeah. and they, they just keep going and going and yeah, going. Yeah, once you're on a roll, you kind of just... You, yeah. You snowball effect. Yeah, the uh, it's what's like what uh, what what Dashy does at the COD champs. He says he enters flow state, and then it's just done. It is flow state. Though. Yeah, that, no, is. that's what that is. That's yeah, literally what that is. And sometimes that happens in the jokes, and it's just and I, I can do that in person. I can't do that over text. And, oh, you can, but like you also don't you 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 haven't been able to feel them out, so you don't know actually what kind of caters to and their side of the humor. You can't gauge the reaction. No, yeah, you can't gauge it at all. So actually, in your mind. When you're over text, you kind of have to be a little more neutral because you not because you're like, oh, I'm so scared they're gonna judge me. It's just like, okay, well, I want to meet them before I like fucking just bust out a bunch of shit. Also, if the girl is trying to like 
you know, whoever's trying to like get the power position of like, I'm better than you or whatever the fuck thing. It's like, they're not either side is going to have a less chance of like kind of slightly dissing someone or like negging them if it's in person. Because then it's like, oh, you got to look me in the eyes and fucking tell me my hair is greasy. Like, (laughs) like you can't just say that over fucking text. But like, oh, so you're all like, you know, mean. And oh, I'm I'm like a mean girl. Like, this is cute. But like, oh, but in person, now you're just cracking up in my jokes. Yeah, it's, it's, I'm definitely an in-person guy. And I think it's an acquired skill. Oh, for sure. I think it's an acquired skill. I mean, you and I have gone to Because I think some people, no, I think some people like, and I'm not saying that means you're not a people person. But it is a different animal when you're going on a date with someone you don't know versus a social gathering of, of maybe course. some people you don't know. <laughs> of course. Because there are a bunch of little interactions versus just there's of one. Of course. One there's on one, one right here. It's one on I one. I will take any day. I will take any ISO. I'll yeah. take any ISO. Yeah. I'm sorry. Fucking no. And done. it doesn't even have to be a date. Like, just like a friend. Like, I'll go. I'm, I mean, I usually, once I settle in, it's just, it's oh, lights yeah. out. Then it's, it's just bang, out. bang, dude. Fucking six shots in each Like, gun that's why I even now, like, I, as much as I, I just, I'm older now. I'm not going to do the Tinder thing. Bumble. I hate that. No, fuck that. And what I'm going to, what I'm going to start doing, I have, literally, I'm going to type up, like, a social resume and just send it over text. Like, read this shit. This is what I like. Yeah, here's... I don't want to... I'm tired of telling people. I'm tired of it. Yeah, it's I'm, like, I'm I so sick of it. I walk long walks on the beach. I'm so, I, I, I'm so I sick of it. I game a lot. Oh, my God. What's going to be on your resume? Like, well, okay, now here's the thing. A resume is usually a list of past qualifications. So you probably don't want to... That's not what I've... No. A resume is your past experience. You know what I mean? It was just to explain I know, like, who I, know, I am, but, but, which is what a resume is. I know, but it's also, you know... No, it's not. It's not. <laughs> you, are you gonna put your, your fucking X's or use your references? <laughs> Call them here. <laughs> They're like, hi, um, my name's blah blah blah, and I'm calling. <laughs> I only have two. Yeah. So I'm good. And the, oh, you're chilling. Yeah. You, and, you, and the last one, you probably can't even get a hold of them. Yeah. So we're good. Yeah, the um the references though, dude. I'd be a reference for you for sure. I think I have references of great interactions. With no, people of course, who are like friends of course. Like that. I have great references. I'm just saying, I've been a reference a million times. But yeah, yeah that's, a conflict, that's a conflict of interest. Yeah, then it was too, but I didn't say that. <laughs> yeah, yeah. she's like, yeah, I'll be your fucking reference. I don't care. Okay, I would be. A, if I'm a just girl saying, called me and she said hi, I no saw one's go- hey, Isaiah hey, hey, Anthony Lundy's nobody, social resume. Hey, do you know who who does that? <laughs> fucking weirdos. No one's gonna call the person's best friend and ask. The them. weirdo isn't giving them a fucking social resume. <laughs> Anyways, so I get a call from fucking. I was kidding. I'm not actually gonna do that. I get a call from Bridget, and Bridget says hi. Ew, Mr. Spence. My name is Bridget. I'm interested in courting Isaiah Anthony Lozny. I got the social resume. Can I ask you a few questions? I'm gonna be like, stop right there. Let me tell you yeah, three yeah. fucking things. <laughs> Reliable, yeah, <stop> here. <laughs> intelligent. Oh, really? That's the opposite of what you usually tell me. I'm having your back here. In a in a completely made up scenario. That's why the that's why it's so good. Okay. Exactly. Yeah, I'm gonna be like, I'm I'm gonna stop you. I'm gonna ask you the questions. What do you have to bring to the table? Hmm. Hmm. Yeah. And she's gonna be like, um, I don't know. It's like, yeah, fucking prepare your resume next time. This isn't a job interview. This is a fucking two way street. <clears throat> How about we see if you're compatible for him? I just don't have the energy anymore, dude. Do you like a man in a hat? <laughs> Everyone loves hats. No, I know. It's just- oh. You're wearing something. I know. I'm wearing a fucking banana. Dude, you know what would be funny? (laughs) I don't know when this would come in handy, but like get another one, but like cut like sew the bottom. So it's just the top. It's just the hat. (laughs) It's like like a a banana shiesty. Oh, oh, nice. I'm I'm actually the the, uh, peeled part. That's just being the peeled. No, you're naked with just that part. Dude, cut all of this off. Leave the back, and it's just the peeled part of the banana when you peel it. Um, you could be a banana, I'd be the peeled banana. Well, I, if you were the peel, at that point, you would just set it on top of your head and let it drape. Oh, and yeah. let it drape. It's weird how we'll eat butt, but not the brown parts of a banana. Only the brown parts of a banana. If I, I open the banana, I'm in like... I'll do you, one, not the other. <laughs> <laughs> you know when you open the banana, and there's a, some brown parts to it? But if it's in the rest of the good, I, I'll eat. I don't Have care. you ever opened it tip face? Banana you? bread is literally used with like brown fucking yeah, banana. Brown yeah, banana. that's every mom's excuse as to why there's a shit ton of brown bananas on the top of the fridge. I'm saying like, <laughs> like, have you ever opened it tip facing you? A banana? 
because <laughs> I haven't, but I'm saying that's just weird. It's yeah, I have. I, that's, like tip facing you? Because 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 usually it's okay. this way. It's usually and you peel it. You know what's funny? It's like you're combing the you know back of the tip. You know, <laughs> it's funny. That's usually how I open it facing me. No shit. I like to look at it as it. As yeah, it it's got little eyes. You, yeah, yeah, yeah. You're a big eye contact guy. I like that. I can't be. Yeah. I can't be. <laughs> hey, we're at forty. Okay. <laughs> uh, Patreon. <clears throat> Patreon.com slash ATLT for episodes early-ish, exclusive content, yada, yada, yada. Also, if you want last year's summer collection, <laughs> go to ATLTstore.com for the 2023 summer collection. But it doesn't say the year this Wait, time. Wait, we could still do a Christmas, though. That never sold. We will not be doing Christmas. <laughs> we'll just do summers. You guys want some ATLT but okay, how about, but how about this? 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 We will... Think about it. No, <laughs> in, in like spring starts. That's when we'll yeah, like. That's when we'll yeah. put out summer collection. We had a great summer collection. The problem was the fucking year was on it. Yeah, yeah. Now our last one doesn't have a year, so it could. It's yeah, twenty twenty four. Sure, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. It really is just whatever the fuck we say it is. Change the color out. Twenty twenty four. James, where can they find you? Find me at Jack underscore Spence or in the streets. Z, where can they find you? <laughs> In the banana costume, just makes it way better. Um, <laughs> you can find me at Sam underscore Leslie on Instagram. <laughs> or both of our Instagrams at the Around Leslie on Instagram page. Uh, thank you guys for listening. Uh, we'll see you next week. And, and see, see you. Let's get rowdy up in here.